In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the brush card on a Milwaukee cordless drill. The brush card is a simple way to service the brushes on your cordless drill. The assembly consists of the brushes, brush springs, holders, and the wire leads that go to the motor. Replacing this assembly is easy to do, and we're going to show you how. Let's get started. We'll begin by removing the battery from the drill. Next, we'll remove this rear cover. It's secured with four screws. Now, we'll remove the four screws that secure the transmission to the housing. And now remove the screws that secure the two halves of the housing together. Next, I'll pull the brush springs away from the brushes so we can easily remove the brush card from the armature. Now I can slide the brush card assembly away from the armature. I'll kind of lift the motor assembly away from the drill and then pull the brush card away. Now I'll pull the switch away from the housing and that'll give me access to both connections between the brush card and the switch. We'll need to desolder these connections. Before I desolder the wires, I want to note the location of each wire so I'll get them in the right place during reassembly. Also, I need to cut away this heat shrink tubing away from the connectors. Now I'll apply heat from the solder gun until I can pull the connection apart. Now we'll install our new brush card assembly. I'll insert the wires through the proper terminals on the switch, according to the notes I made during disassembly. I'll apply a little paste flux to each of the joints before I solder. That helps to clean the joint and ensure we get a good connection. I apply the heat and I'll solder these off one at a time. And now I'll repeat this on the opposite connection.
I've reinstalled the switch back into the housing, and now before I can reinstall the new brush card, I need to pull the springs away from the brushes again. That's so I can slide the brush card over the armature. Now I'll slide the brush card over the armature and line up the edge of the brush card with the slot on the housing. I'm going to tuck the wires down in so they don't get pinched when we put the other half of the housing in place. Now I'll replace the half of the housing. And secure it with the screws. Now reinstall the four transmission screws. Now I'll snap the brush springs back into place and reinstall the rear cover.